You're listening to the Cricket Podcast. Joe Root resigned. He did. Why did he resign? What happened? Talk to me. Uh, I can only assume what happened is jo- Jonathan Agnew was ringing him uh, every night on the hour, just being resign, please resign, please resign, because that's been his bugbear for a while, hasn't it? Um, well, it's uh, what it's not gone well, is it, for England? That we've been, the the project Red Bull reset has uh, uh, it's one series long and it was unsuccessful. And I think, yeah, it's... It's, Red, Red Bull Reset lasted one series and it ended with the only person retained in any position of uh, res- responsibility and leadership losing their job. So mm. um, overall, I think you would say not a very good reset. Uh, but it's, carry uh, on about Joe Root. I, 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 just for me, it feels like a, a media pressure thing, right? He's made no bones about saying that he thinks he is the person who wants to, he really wants to lead the team forward and he thinks he's the right person to do it. And um, sure, he's not been the best captain in the, uh, in the world, but he's dealt with uh, reasonably challenging circumstances. Most of those being that England don't have a particularly good test cricket team at the moment. He's not been the most exciting in terms of, uh, you know, fielding ideas. He's made some strange decisions, but again, it's also been a case of like, you know, who, who is going to be doing a better job? So that's really where the interest is, isn't it? Who's going to take over? I think this is the point, isn't it, where we talk about legacy, Joe Root's legacy as as captain. Um, he has captained a lot of games. He won quite a lot of games. Um, he lost, I think, more games than anybody yeah. ever to do the job. Um, where where do you come down on Joe Root? Do you so? Uh, I suppose, and in this, Max, I want to know. Do you think he was a good captain? Do you think it was right for him to go at this point? Do you think you'll remember his captaincy fondly? Um, do you do you like Joe Root? I'll start with uh, I'll start with the last one. Do I like Joe Root? Of course I like Joe Root. He's a phenomenal cricketer. How can you not like Joe Root? And he uh, he's he looks forever young, doesn't he? He's one of those. What, he's like 30, 30, 31 now. He always looks yeah. like he's about twenty. Um, it probably. I mean, it's not. I don't. He's been, He's a below average captain, isn't he? Let's 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 face it. Like he's not. Yeah. He's not been yeah. good at the. He's not been good at the job. He isn't good at being a captain. I no, think that's fair enough. Um, but he's sort of fallen into the uh, the classic England. It's an England thing, isn't it? You think you pick the team first, and then you decide which one of those is the best player, and then you make them captain. Uh, we made Kevin Peterson captain at one point because he was the best player. I mean, he was just. It was wasn't exactly the most um, logical decision, but it's what what we went with. And I would I would say his tenure, uh, my description of his tenure would be a poor workman with some uh, fairly poor tools. It's it's um, not all his fault, but some of it is also his fault. Some of it is definitely his fault. Uh, if you look back at his sort of record, I mean, I mean, we, it, uh, sorry, I had it up in a, for a second, but it's it's. it's it's yeah. well, I mean, pretty, one, pretty mediocre. One win in the last 17. That's not bad. great. Yeah. But there were there were good moments. So he like he won he beat South Africa for the first time in ages in, in England. Then he he he's won a series away in South Africa. He's won series away in uh Sri Lanka. Mm-hmm. Um they beat India 4-1 at home um in that in that series that was actually a bit closer than a 4-1, but um yeah, it it went well. Um, won, there's, won a test away in India. Yeah, won a test away in India. He scored seventeen hundred yeah. runs in a calendar year as captain, which is you know pretty phenomenal. I would I would say, but it's it's a lot of those achievements are sort of like quite good, aren't they? I, I don't know if the end of I think he's captain more games than anyone else in in England history. Maybe Cook's just slightly ahead of him still, but I I don't know if you want to get to the end of that length of time in charge. And have those moments as the the high points. No, winning basically, a, a test. You're, yeah, and, and winning a test away in India. I mean, that's and not... individual batting performances as your like crowning glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're um, not bad to have, but they're not. So he didn't win an Ashes series. Um, I don't think he drew in 2019. Lost away twice without winning a test. Mm. Um, and he himself said 
Ashes series define you as a captain. So yeah, after winning the Test in India, England collapsed. Like they were, you know, abject, ab- abject, abject. Um, and I think this summer as well, in that series against India, it was despite him scoring loads of runs, they 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 basically they just consistently lost the crucial moments in mm. in matches, and and yeah. that's been happening for a while. It's yeah. It's, I mean, and, but yeah. that is, and I think to be fair to Joe Root, if you if you if you're going to be honest, you'd say that some of that is down to not having the right equipment. Like it's mm. you're going to lose a lot of crucial moments in Australia if Chris Wokes is your main bowler. Like it's yeah. that 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 is true. But then also, there are times when he absolutely 100 could have made a positive impact with his captaincy, yeah, and and made a negative one. Like the the, the we joke about it a lot on this show, don't we? Jasper Bummer and Shami, yeah, Bummer and Shami at Lords. It was like what some of the most farcical captaincy and tactics. You'd see, like it was like you, you, it's the sort of thing that people have never played the sport might come up with. Um, do you know, like when you play a board Bummer game? Bummer and, and let's, annoyed us. Let's bowl it at his head as fast. Well, as that can. was that, that, that was, was the more plan. or less it. That yeah. was more or less it. It was like you've got Ollie Robinson and Anderson, who are you know extremely disciplined line and length bowlers against two guys who really don't know what they're doing. Um, if, we're, <laughs> if we're being if we're being honest, like Bummer, boards he, where you get wickets. Yeah, because he's better as a batter, and, and Shammy, Shammy, you know, can defend a little bit, but probably if you a one probing spell, you'd be unlucky not to get both of them. Yeah. Um, instead, they just literally didn't bowl anywhere near the stumps. Um, they had five or six men on the boundary and stuff like that, and that, there are there are quite a few moments in yeah. Roots' captaincy career, and, even uh, West Indies recently, where yeah. it, you just the game slides. For, for, for a long I mean there's selection a selection as well isn't there you've got things like carrying Jack Leach around for ages and doing nothing with him and treating him like crap and uh, it looks like Matt Parkinson's next on the list of people to suffer the uh, the Jack Leach treatment you mentioned Chris Wokes being England's you know main uh, bowler down in Australia which isn't where you want to be but why was that where we were because he bowled Joffrey Archer into the ground when he shouldn't have done he should have I mean, they know how to use Mark Wood and they use Mark Wood properly because he's been through ankle surgery, had to remodel his run up to lengthen it to reduce the impact that goes through his body. And it's worked to a degree. He can now put a few games yeah. together. Joffre Archer, obviously, he just was like, oh, well, he'll be fine. I can bowl him for 20 overs in a row, despite the ridiculous amount of strain. Even, even though he has the most beautiful fluid action you've seen, to fire the ball down at 88, 90 miles an hour. I mean, it's obvious, like, you don't need to be a genius to know that whatever that happens is going to put strain on your body. And we didn't use him properly, and that's uh, put paid to him for a couple of years, and we don't even know if he'll be able to come back and be the player that he was. That's probably on him, so that's not uh, not a great thing. So, yeah, I mean, right. key key moments, key decisions have been poor. But, again, I I just comes back around to me for like where where are we going to go well that's good we'll get to that in a second uh messy jez in the in the chat from gorilla cricket of course says root has captained england most and also has the most wins and the most losses as captain ah. um so there you go um the winningest and the losingest yeah and the mostest uh yeah where do england go they currently have no head of cricket or director of cricket or whatever that position mm. is called we that assume it's going to be rocky His- at the end of his tenure, where it all went wrong, did also coincide with England completely restructuring the Test series and it being a Test team and it being a total disaster. So again, they have <laughs> they they have no coach. Yeah, um, they have no captain. Ooh, uh, who? What? What are they going to do? <laughs> Red Bull self destruct rather than Red Bull reset. What are they going to so do? It's, well, it Ben Stokes me. is the massive favourite with the bookies. Yeah. But okay. I I mean. For me, that's the, that's going to be like that's like middle of the road. If someone, if you pick someone on the street who knows very little about cricket or Test cricket, and said, "Right, who should be England's next te- next Test captain?" They would all say Ben Stokes. Um, what's Ben Stokes's experience as captain of a side? Not not sure. It's extensive. Um, I don't think that matters. He's got the fire to do it. Like he, he is. I think he's somewhat a bannerman that you could uh, rally round that in, in that way. 
Um, I think he's matured from, you know, the mistakes he's made in the past. So there's not, not necessarily something uh, that you would worry about there. But you also have to think like, you know, this is a guy who six months ago was in the middle of a break from cricket because he's been going through, uh, you know, he had his, he had the thumb injury, but also, you know, had mental health problems and had to take a step back. He had whether, how much of that is just related to like his, the family issues he had, you know, we don't know, but ultimately like the pressure of being an England captain, like the amount of scrutiny that Joe Root, who's like England's best player in God knows how long was under and like the, you know, the constant, yeah, you know, niggling and nitpicking that comes from the media when you do one thing wrong is that something that Ben Stokes is going to want to pick up if, you know, he's just come back from like a, a break from cricket from a mental health point of view? I, I, I mean, that's a question for him, but like, I, I don't know if that's necessarily fair on, on him as, as much as anything, but maybe, you know, maybe he wants it. Who knows? We'll see. I reckon that's probably their first port call. Um, I'd be surprised and, if it wasn't. And then um, the, the person that I would have second in line person, like for me would be Stuart Broad just for a bit couple of years maybe but they seem intent to ditch him and anderson as fast as they can so well yeah the, i mean the happen. word the word on the street is that rob key is going to be the next director of cricket rob right. key i think it, it's reported anyway is broadly in favor of moving on from anderson and broad so mm-hmm. um i think maybe not immediately but i think after this summer anyway so that, yeah. that sort of rules out or that it makes it unlikely, I think, that, that either of them would get the job. Yeah. Uh, although it would be a very England thing to do, wouldn't it? To, to appoint a guy who doesn't want the captain in the team as the director of cricket and then also like appoint the guy. Who, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, um, I, I think I, I, if you look at... Oh wait, I, this might be a slightly controversial view or a, a, a view that other people don't hold. But I don't think in test cricket, especially, the captain matters much. Um I don't think there's the tactical nuances of, of test cricket um, are have as significant an impact on the outcome of the match as they do in um, T20 and T20 cricket. Well, as a, you know, 50 over, but, but especially T20 cricket mm. where bowling the wrong guy at the wrong time, putting the fielder in the wrong yes. place costs you, can cost you yeah. six runs. Yeah. At least six runs. Um, I, in in Test cricket, basically what you need, but the, and this is sort of why Kohli is quite a good Test captain, not a good T Twenty captain, because Kohli, Kohli was able to keep the intensity up. They need somebody, I think, England, who can keep the intensity up a little bit. I'm a bit more of an on field coach, a motivator, a Harry mm. Redknapp, if you will. Um, they don't need like a, a specialist captain or anything like that. Yeah. I think if you look at the people who fit the bill most, there, it's it's probably Stokes. People. People are, professional cricketers are in awe of what he can do. They respect the hard work. How often do you hear people talk about how much work Stokes puts in, into his game? It's it's something that they respected him. And I think people would, you know, try for him. Mm. Um, and I, I think him being indisputably worthy of his place in the side helps as well. Um, some of the others, some of the and other options. probably are. just about the only one. Yeah. And... And the fact that people talk about it being overburdening him. Possibly Ben Stokes would be the best person to decide whether Ben Stokes should be bowling the amount of overs that Ben Stokes is currently bowling. It might, <laughs> uh, it might take the burden off of him slightly because yeah. he won't be bowling 20 overs a day. He might think this isn't going to work. They say that, don't they? Oh, you don't want to make a bowler captain because they never bowl themselves or they bowl themselves too much. In, in Stokes' situation, if he just took took it a little bit easy on the bowling and prolonged his batting career for England, that would probably be another thing. win. Yeah. So I, I think I think it will probably end up being Stokesy. I don't know if he really wants the job, but sometimes that's a good thing, you know. Like Some of the best leaders you get are people that sort of have it thrust upon them rather than seize the mantle. Kevin Peterson, for example, really wanted to be England captain. Dreadful. Um, I don't know if if Andrew Strauss was absolutely determined to be England captain. I think he sort of ended up as England captain and, and was re- remarkably good in that position. Um, and I'm not I'm not saying here that Strauss didn't want to be captain. He he, he did. He obviously did. He took took it on, didn't he? Um, but I think it's probably Ben Stokes yeah. is probably more similar to, to Strauss. Tough one to turn down though, that and it captain. Yeah. The test well, that's it. I think Stra- you know Stokes isn't going to turn it down, but he might also not be building his whole career around around getting to that point. 